gained souls over Hiroshima. They announced that the bomb from the United States is coming over to hit them. The bomb is in the air for 43 seconds at a height of 31,000 feet. It strikes, it hits mostly all of Hiroshima and other small cities around. It disrupted many buildings, many things, left ruins of things, left people in danger with marks all over their bodies. Some even died, many injured, and won't be able to have that care. It was this man, the reason why all this happened. Dr. Phoenix Honecker, he is the one to blame. Hello everyone. My name is John, but I prefer people to call me Jonah. And I'm your narrator today, and I'm going on a journey to find about more about the madman himself, Dr. Felix Honecker. Now, the first journey would be to the Cape Cod room, where Dr. Felix Honecker dies at. Let's go. We have finally arrived. As I'm walking in, I see a local herd in Sandra, and I heard she been here a lot. So I'm going to interview her and Dr. Phyllis Hunker and see what she knows about him. to ask me some questions about Dr. Felix. F Felix? Yeah, um, I know pretty much a lot about that dude. Uh, I know his three children. Um, one is Angela, um, New Frank, um, oh, you, yeah, okay, I heard. Yeah, you were um, my little to news, okay? Um, yeah, um, I know a lot about this dude, um, I just know that a lot of people didn't like him. Um, he's a big, big mad scientist, and um, that's all I pretty much know. I hope I helped you. <clears throat> I'm back with you with more information. After that interview with Sandra, and I started going more into detail. I dug deeper. I got myself in trouble with one of his buddies, Dr. Breed, but I'm not gonna bring that up. I got, I, I dug deeper and found out about his quote unquote missing son, Frank, who isn't such to be missing anymore. He's located in San Lorenzo, and now it's time for me to pack my bags and hop on a plane. Hours later. I am now arriving in San Lorenzo. Okay. I'm here with Frank, right? Yeah. I'm here with Frank, one of Dr. Felix Hunger's um, sons, and I'm going to ask him a few questions about himself and his father. 
Okay. Now, it took me a lot of stuff to find you, and I was just wondering how you end up in San Lorenzo. Um, it says uh, well, I was wanted for some things back in Ilium, so I actually left to get away from things, and I ended up here. So, yeah. All right, um, now, what do you, like, can you say that you were following your father's footsteps? I mean, not really, because things he did was, like, difficult, so I like doing things with sculptures and type of stuff like that. He yeah. was, like, more of a scientist. I wasn't into that kind of things. I like to make sculptures of things, like people and stuff like that. Okay, now, who is, who is your father like? What type of person is he? He's really a difficult man, but a scientist who has more experience than any scientist you may know. He makes things out of this world that you would never even think of. So he's very smart, but sort of weird, man. Do you think he was a good role model for you, to the person you are today? Because I heard that you dropped out of school, and I was just wondering, how did you come so big here in San Lorenzo? I mean, he could have been a good role model to me, but... I really didn't look up to him because the stuff he did, I was not interested in. And since um, when I dropped out of school, you know, things was getting hard for me in school, so I just left everything alone and started to do what I wanted to do and be myself. Because I know school wasn't, it started not to be for me, so. Okay, well, thank you, Frank. Um, I'll do some more digging and back to Ilya Mago. All right, thank you. Hours later. Now back in Ilium, New York. Now back in Ilium, New York, and I found everything I could about Dr. Felix Honker, and that I actually found out he's a good man to his children, and not wasn't as bad as I thought he was. Thank you guys.